Hey guys, welcome to seven drum editing tips in seven days. Tip number two is how to actually create parallel compression in Logic manually. So if you haven't heard of parallel compression before, um, you may have also known it as New York compression. This is a common mixing or production technique um, which is achieved by blending a dry signal with no compression or very little compression with a very heavily compressed signal. So this blend of the two actually helps you to achieve a desired mixture of that punch and power you get with a lot of compression and also natural dynamics of the uncompressed signal. So it's kind of like a best of both worlds thing and you can choose that blend um, you can fine tune that in the way that gives you the sound that you want. So it's a very common technique and this often comes in plug-in form. So you'd literally just load up a, uh, a parallel compression plugin or there'll be a parallel compression setting on a plugin. Um, so in that case, it would be very easy to do, but with your standard plugins in Logic, um, you can't do that. So I'm gonna show you how to do this manually it's not too hard to do, um, it doesn't take very long at all, so I'm just going to show you how to do this now. So first of all, I'm just going to play these drums for you as they are now. Uh, they've just got noise gates and EQ on, not a lot, um, no compression or anything. So there we go, that's our little drum loop there in a chorus. So what we want to do is we want to beef this up while still making sure that it sounds natural. So if you wanted to, you could add very, very light compression to treat any kind of drums or any kind of part of the performance that is sticking out a bit too much. But as you can see by the wave files, it's pretty consistent across the board. So I'm just gonna keep it dry as it is now. So first of all, I'd recommend just making sure in context with your mix that your drums individually are at roughly the right level, the level you want them to be. And you can obviously control that with all the individual faders. Now, once you've done that, create a VCA track for all your drums. And this is kind of just like a group um, and it will enable you to control the level of your drums as a whole with just one fader basically without having to highlight them all and drag them all up and down like this. So to do that we go to options, create new VCA for selected channel strips. You can see all the drum tracks are highlighted so it will automatically assign that to this new VCA which is VCA1 by default. So click on this, change that to drums in brackets dry. And there you go, we can see that the VCA has appeared there, right next to our drums. So if we play this now, we can actually control the level of our drums as a whole using this fader. So there we go, that just gives us that option when we're blending the two signals together, um, a very easy way of basically altering the amount of dry signal. So next what you want to do is create an auxiliary channel strip and this is to send your drums to, to apply that heavy compression for the heavy compression part of the parallel compression. So we go to options, create new auxiliary channel strip. There we go, we'll find it here. We'll rename that to drums compression. What we'll do now is we'll change this input to a bus that hasn't been used. Let's go with bus eight. And then we'll add bus eight to all of our drum tracks. So this is what we'll actually physically send uh, the audio to this auxiliary channel strip to get this compression on. So bus eight, I just set these at zero dB for now. 
just by default. It doesn't have to be this much, but I'd make sure that um, across the board that the amount you send from each track is the same. So now what you will do is you'll go to your aux channel strip and you'll add your compression. So we'll turn this up and we'll alter this uh, compressor to make sure that it's very heavy, hard and punchy. So I'm pretty happy with that. So now what we do have is two faders we can use to blend these uh, two signals together. So we can raise this up and down if we want some more of that hard compression, that punch, um, or we can lower this if we want less of the, uh, the dry drum signal. Just to clarify, your auxiliary channel strip here does rely on this VCA for its volume. So if you turn this down, it's actually going to reduce the levels of all these obviously, and that's going to reduce the amount of audio that gets to this auxiliary channel strip. So bear that in mind, I'd mostly use this to control the blend, but if you do want to use this slightly to dim it, uh, the dry signal down a bit, then you can do that. So I'm just gonna show you an example of how this works now. So as you can hear now, this VCA affects the amount of audio that gets to this auxiliary. So I'd personally choose something like that. You can still hear um, some of the dynamics there with the plane, but you can also hear that punch, especially with the kick coming through um, from that hard compression. So that is personally how I would use parallel compression, how I would install it manually, if you like, into your DAW session. It's very easy to do. You've got all the control that you'll need here, um, obviously your compressor here, you can change that to whatever you want to make it as hard or as punchy as you like. And then you've got the faders here to dial in that blend of the two. So I hope you found this short tutorial helpful. Uh, feel free to drop me a comment below if you have any questions or if you've got another method that you feel works better, feel free to comment anything like that below. Please subscribe, It'd be great to hear from you and to have you on this channel um, long term. This is mostly dedicated to business for session musicians, but I do occasionally like to touch on these uh, recording and editing techniques because it's also what I do for a living. So if you have any other suggestions of videos like this that you'd like me to cover, then I'd be more than open to hearing your suggestions.